It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. Thursday night basketball from the Garden. Welcome to the Line Makers on Sporting News. I'm Michael Roberts with Rick Aaron. Rick, we're looking at the Knicks down 3 1 as a five point favorite against the Pacers, who have clearly, well, at least three games, clearly dominated them in all facets. Can the Knicks respond in this game that's uh, desperation mode? Well, Mike, uh, yeah, you, it, you know, you, you look at the Knicks and it's just, they can't shoot. Uh, it's just, you know, I mean, J.R. Smith's 28% from the four. He's 18 for 64 for the series. Mello's 39% from the series. With, yeah, for the series. Those two guys don't shoot it. I mean, They're they need, you can shoot it. They, they should use you as a three point specialist. I mean, I, I, you know, Pacers have been absolutely great. You can't, I mean, they five and zero at home in the in the playoffs, and all five of them they won by double digits. They won five of their last six games. The Knicks have lost five of their last seven games, and the Knicks are a five point favorite. And hey, you're right about the shooting with the Knicks. This is something that they kind of cruise by in the regular season. Obviously, it's not as intense as playoff basketball. And when every game means something, and you get a defender like Paul George that is ding up on Carmelo every time he touches the ball. Last game, four of 16 shooting when George was on Anthony. That's a key factor, and this is what the Knicks did in their entire run. In the last two months of the regular season, they were covering almost every game, and they were just getting open looks, great shots, shooting freely. J.R. Smith shooting the ball well. Shumpert shooting the ball well. That was a fine performance by him in the first well, five minutes, by Well, Shumpert planned up playing 16 minutes with the knee problem. That's another issue that the, that the Knicks have. Don't know how many minutes they're going to get out of him in game five. Uh, you know, the only thing I question, Mike, is, you know, it's a young team like the Pacers, as good as they've been, and they are good, and I think they're going to give the Heat a series. I don't think the Knicks are coming back and winning three straight like the Warriors just go there. I think the Pacers are going to advance. I don't know if it's going to be this game. But a young team up 3-1, there's just got to be sometimes a psychological thing, even if it's sun subconscious. Yeah. That, well, we're up 3-1, so you give a little bit less effort in each quarter, and you end up you end up blowing the game, and you got to go back home and play game six. But I'm deferring to you on this one. Well, I, I would lean to the under here just because I would expect to see the same type of play we've seen the last three that have all gone under. The Knicks have been an under team throughout the playoffs against the Celtics and, and the Pacers, and it just seems that's the way it's going to go, and that has nothing to do with them shooting poorly. It's just a matter of style that, that they've been playing, and the Pacers have been playing against them, and I liked what I saw out of the Knicks in the first quarter uh, of Game 4 where they came out physical, tough, and they looked they were, like they were they trying were to make very, a statement. Very physical, Stoudemire but they couldn't and, score. And 34 Kmart, points they, at the half. Yeah, they were trying to do so. They had the right mindset, I think, of what it's going to take. But I don't know if they believe they're a tough team. They're still a team that has to shoot well. And we kind of banked on it. We thought the Knicks would shoot a lot better. But now they come home. They've got the organs and the pipes of Madison Square Garden and the fans with all the newspapers writing. Last time when they were uh, kind of in that desperation mode in game two, they came up big with a huge win. And I don't know if we're going to see that here, but I do think the style of play is going to be the same as what we saw the last three would lean towards the under. Okay, well, I'm going with you. We'll play the game under. Oh, one more thing before we go. Pacers series price $7 plus $5 with the Knicks. Two home games with the Knicks if it gets that far. Any value at all with the Knicks? Uh, to me, there may be some value with the other side at seven dollars. Oh. I, I, I don't think this team's losing three in a row. Remember, this is a Pacer team that was up two-one on the Heat last year in the playoffs before the Heat won the next three games to win the series. So they can play. They're a year older, even though Danny Granger isn't there. No, I couldn't play the Knicks. All right, it looks like the under is the play in this spot. Thanks for watching.